llamaste, luego llamaste Y en medio de indirectas calentaste la situación Y yo tranquilo en la habitación No lo esperé de ti Te veía tan enamorada que ni intenté Ahora te pregunto ¿Por qué sigues con él? Si borracha me confesaste que él no te lo hace bien Tú le calientas la comida, pero él no te sabe comer Si pruebas no vas a volver ¿Por qué sigues con él? Si borracha me confesaste que él no te lo hace bien What's up, everybody? We are on to part three? What are you gonna call it? Episode three? I don't know. But my birthday is in two days, and on my birthday, I'm gonna be going live with my little brother. He's one of my favorite people in the world, and he produced, he co produced Apocalipsis. And, um, so my nails have quit on me. I, I peel them off individually because I get, it's just like an, an anxiety thing. But, um, okay, so today for episode three, I am going to be talking to, well, he has many nicknames. One of them is Mama Bear because he oversee, he oversaw, oh God, um, he, he oversaw everything um, to do with my EP because he was like the god, the god, mother, godfather of everything that was going on because, you know, he's an experienced, talented songwriter performer singer everything he just does it all and um he is really experienced he'd been writing for selena gomez he writes with julia michaels he's got bops on bops on bops so i'm gonna add him now you guys are gonna uh, love him hopefully just as much as i do Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I miss you. I miss you more. It's been like forever on top of forever. It has. I know. Wait, where are you right now? It, it looks so spacious. I am in uh, a little town called Cuyamaca in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Love that. Okay, Just in- tell me more. <laughs> enjoying nature and writing music there's a there's a piano over there just like just living my life in the nature and you know trying to use this insane moment to you know appreciate whatever the hell we can appreciate exactly no that's exactly what you what you what i should be doing too i mean (laughs) I, um, I've been writing a lot, kind of, I I think you'd be proud of me when I say that I've been writing a lot, um, by myself and like writing songs and stuff, you know. Well, you better send them to me. I want to hear. Okay. Okay. I will. I've been, uh, Kyfex has been sending me tracks. Oh, sick. For those of you who don't know who Kyfex is, he is a Peruvian producer, very, very underrated for like everything that he does um but he's super cool and he sends me tracks from peru over whatsapp and then i'll just like record over them and send them back well, he's underrated but that's the beginning of his journey the world will soon know that he's You're right You're just, exactly yeah. exactly yes you have yeah. a good point there but um yeah i was just telling them you were like the overseer of all that was going on on my ep and you got to see me grow as an artist while we were doing it and while we were there and in the process of because I, I know we did this little camp Maybe it was a year ago or two years ago. It was a year ago. It was ago. a year ago. A year ago. It was a year ago in, in the summer. So it was like around now, actually. It was, yeah. Um, and yeah, I just wanted you to just talk about your experience on the EP and and kind of what you learned or like, yeah. For sure. No, it was amazing. You know, we, we worked together on, you and I worked together on your song from for Instant Family. Mm-hmm. Um, and which we had so much fun doing. And it was like so natural and beautiful. And then um, when Wendy Goldstein, who is at your amazing label Republic, hit me up and told me what your vision was for you to really move into your artist project. I just thought it was so exciting, like mixing sort of Peruvian folk music and traditional Peruvian music with alternative pop 
and like current Latin pop, like mixing all three of those worlds. I just thought it sounded like such a cool idea. When you and I got on the phone, I, mean, I think actually you came over, right? You and your mom came over. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and you explained your vision even more in depth. And I just thought it sounded like such a cool thing to do, such a cool thing to learn from. Um, you gave me uh, this huge, you like told me all these different like classic Peruvian artists to listen to. Um, we even made a playlist together, remember? We it was sure like a did. Playlist of songs that we really enjoyed and maybe could draw from whether it was a theme or whether it was a certain instrument for sure i remember that exactly and i still listen to that playlist all the time it's like the perfect day off music it's like I love emotional that. but the all the rhythms and the grooves feel like you're like on vacation even though the yeah. vocal melodies can be like super heartbreaking you're still like living in it um so we just yeah just working with you has been so cool because it's exploring all these different textures and you know, between Poppy and then everything on the EP, I just, I feel so proud of you and so proud of it. Um, but also I'm really excited about some of the other unbelievable songs that we have. That we haven't released. That haven't been released. There's my, my two favorites that I, I don't know if you've announced titles, so I won't say their names. You can my, say it, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so Mona Lisa and then Adios. I think those are my two favorites ever. Okay of yours okay. and they haven't been released yet and i'm obsessed with them did you hear the late you are you were the one who sent me the latest version of mona lisa i love it like the, it just uh it's sean killed it sean absolutely killed it. it's so yeah sean wasabi for president andres <laughs> and mauricio you know they can they can be in the cabinet too i mean it's just it's so it's so good and it's just so cool so i'm really excited um so proud of what the growth you've already had, but when people hear what's coming next, it's gonna be even crazier. Cause the melding of all the different worlds, like I think we push those boundaries even farther and I'm just so excited for it. Um, but what also was so dope too, was working with you is like, you're mel you have amazing melody ideas. Um, and like, yes, I you know, technically oversaw the project, but when it comes to Peruvian music, when it comes to Latin pop, like that is your world, that is not my world. So it's so dope to like follow your lead in that sense and yeah. all the amazing, you know, Latinx writers that you brought into the project to make sure that like we were keeping this shit real. Um, that was so cool. And your amazing dog and your mom and your brother. We <laughs> are blessed. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, it really you really are reminding me of how fun it was to be in the room and and um in the studio and I hope as soon as they open up again we can go and get right back to it. Yeah. Um there's a lot I don't more know to do. Any of them are. It's all I want to do. It's really all I want to do in it. Um I've just been making the most out of it in my home studio, but I have a few questions and if I love you guys questions. have questions who if you're watching like feel free to ask away and I'll definitely like read them and ask them to Justin or myself. And um, basically, yeah, so what would you say is your favorite song of the EP or the one that resonates most with you in your life right now? Um, I mean, it's hard to say the favorites, right? Because when, I, not that I co-wrote every song, but I was just a part of the whole process, so it's hard to pick your favorites. But I think Loving Kind is really, really cool. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, you always make fun of the way I say it, but I have to try to say it like you say it because that's how we sing it in the song. Chocolate, which I don't. Cho chocolate. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can't say chocolate because it just, that's not how the melody sings. So I can't yeah. just say chocolate. I have to say it how you sing it. Um, I just think that's just feels such a feel good, cool song. I like that this, like the structure isn't traditional pop structure, but the, all like the pop hooks are in there. Um, but if I had to pick, pick, I would say Loving Kind. I feel like Loving Kind is just like, it does that thing where it's super cool as well as being very truthful to your life. And I love when songs can be truthful to the artist, but also just like, if you don't want to pay attention to the lyrics, it still just feels cool and it feels good. But if you do want to pay attention, it's very clearly your story and what you are experiencing in that moment. Yeah, I feel like there's, no one really listens to lyrics anymore, and like at all. That's pretty much all I listen to. So I'm always, but you're right. Me but too. I'm me so too. Confused. Though. I, I, yeah. It could be a songwriter thing, though. E yeah. Okay. Isenia has a question for you. Who is an artist you haven't worked with yet that you'd want to work with? Ooh. Okay, that's a good one. Um, I mean, Beyonce is always a dream, just because she's literally the queen bee. Um, 
And then like, you know, I come from like an old school singer songwriter rock thing. Um, and so like Stevie Nicks is always, is always a dream. Um, I'm very fortunate that I've been blessed to work with a lot of my heroes. I've gotten to work with Gwen Stefani and Courtney Love. And um, I got to do a handful of songs on the new Dixie Chick, D Dixie Chicks album that comes out. Oh, sorry. Now they're just the chicks on the Chicks album that comes out um, in next week, I think. So I've been blessed to work with a lot of my heroes, but Beyonce and Stevie Nicks are still, are still there. I still not there, I should say. <laughs> are, still, are still not there yet, but they will be. They will be, for sure. We, we can hope. We can hope. <laughs> no, we got to manifest. We got to manifest. There you go. There you go. Um, no, but okay, so who is an artist that you see me collaborating with? Ooh, I like that. I mean, you know, my my thing, as you know, is always to go to the artist's truth. So I'm going to have to turn that question around on you. Who is an artist? Because as someone that believes in your career, my job is to always elevate and focus what you're doing, not elevate and focus what I want to do, because this is your life, not mine. So who is the artist that you would like me to figure out how you can work with? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you, just, you really just pulled out the Uno reverse card on me. <laughs> I'm not ready. Um, oh, no. Uh, well, someone I've been saying a lot lately is, okay, there's a few people. Like, obviously, Rosalia, right? I mean, queen, queen. Um, I really also am into Doja Cat. Amazing. Yeah. Um... Someone just said, Becky G, Becky G. I, ha I had this idea on the live yesterday with Kennedy. You know how um, Beyonce and Shakira did that video together? Where yep. they looked like, like twins. Beautiful stranger you know, or something yes. stranger, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was something like that. Like we could do one of those videos where we're, they're like, who's who, you know? They keep, they keep changing. <laughs> 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 um, but my dream collaboration would be Frank Ocean, for sure. Oh, Frank wow, Ocean. cool. And I mean, Super if cool. you're watching this, Frank Ocean, like I know you're shy, baby, but we can just do it. We could just do a session. We're just writing together. You can do it virtual. You know what I mean? Yeah. Keep it. Keep everyone in their safe space. You don't no, even have to show I, your um, face, Frank. You don't even have to show your face. Oh, somebody said H Chow too. H, you know who H Chow is? Uh, He's like, not, you're gonna have to educate me. Educate me. Whipping. I'll show. I'll send you some of his songs. Okay, send me. Send me. He's super cool. <laughs> Yeah, you and Rosalie would be amazing. I, uh, I got, I was fortunate enough to, um, her and I got to do like one session together for, for something else that never came to fruition to the public, but it was such a cool thing to work with her because I'm just like such a super fan. And she was in the middle of rehearsals for Coachella. Um, oh, so this wow. was like, this was like a year and a half ago before COVID happened when, you know, when Coachella actually happened. Um, so she, she was in the middle of rehearsals and came to the studio as long as she could in between her rehearsals. And it was so, so, so cool. Her vibe is amazing. Her talent is amazing. Yeah, I think those are all, all three of those choices are really, really good for you. I think that would be unbelievable. I would love that. I, um, yeah, I also like admire Doja Cat as a lyricist too. I just think she's so clever and so sassy. It's like everything that I, that I want to be, you know. <laughs> it's everything um, that you can be. Everything that I can be, of course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just excited to get back in the studio. If you guys have any more questions for us, feel free to ask. Um, I have one question for you, though. So I know you worked on, Justin worked on Loving Kind. He also worked on Chocolate. And he worked on, you worked on one more. I don't know why I'm blanking. Um, so I just got to look up my own name. I don't even know the names on my own EP with this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you also worked on The Chase. The Chase, I, I, I assisted on that one, but you and uh, Michael Pollack, and I'm blanking on who else was on that song. You, oh my God, amazing, yeah. oh, amazing. You yeah. guys really, I was just fortunate enough to like listen and give some notes, but you guys really slayed that one all by yourselves. Thank you. Yeah. Um, out of those three, which one did you enjoy writing more? Well, Choco Latte was just like a party. I mean, yeah. every time it's me, you, and Kennedy in the room, it's just like, are we, are we rewriting? Are we gossiping? Are we dancing? I'm not really sure, but we the always leave with- The usually the latter, um, <laughs> but it's cool because we wrote that song in like 20 minutes. It yeah. It so quickly. 
I, so, I so that one was super fun. Loving Kind was one. I was in another room. Well, I think we wrote, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Chocolate and Loving Kind were written on the exact same day. I'm almost positive. And you and Kennedy left Chocolate, went across the hall and we're, we're working on Loving Kind with um, uh, Nick Monson and, and I can't remember who else. Was Skylar in that one? I can't remember. It's a year yeah. ago now, so I'm like lost. Well, but also, also those sessions that we did to write these songs, except for Todo Bien, happened in a, only like a span of three weeks or a month. It was quick. And we were in it every day too. Yeah. So, well, so and the two songs I mentioned before that I worship, um, Mona Lisa and Adios were also written in that same time period. So like we like all locked ourselves in the Republic Studios for like three weeks and just knocked it all out. Um, but so I, anyway, I don't I can't remember if Loving Kind and Chocolate were the same day, but they might have been. All I know is like Loving Kind, you guys already were like you were already slaying that. I almost swore I'm trying to be really polite on your on your Instagram. But you guys were already slaying that. And I walked in and just, again, I was just sort of helped. So that one was really cool to walk in on because you guys were already like 30% into it. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. This is really cool. And Nick obviously had done the guitar part, blah, blah, blah. But then I remember Andres came over and started playing all the percussion parts on, on Love and Kind. Um, and it was just a, such, a, such a cool experience. So yeah. Chocolate Latte was like a full party, but Loving Kind was one that I walked into and it's like, oh, what is happening here? This, is re this feels really good. Dude, I am so just talking about it makes me so excited to get back in the studio. But um, yeah, no, thank you so much for talking to me. Like my pleasure, I, girl. I just, I just hope you have the best rest of your quarantine. Stay safe. You um, stay safe. I miss you so much. Um, miss you and more. your dog too. You're like bear, <laughs> bear of a dog. <laughs> um, I actually got a new puppy recently. I don't know. If no way. Know. Yeah, she's. I gotta meet. You gotta meet her. Okay, you gotta see my new puppy. Okay. Oh my god, you have a new puppy too. Her name's Izzy. <gasps> baby. Oh, baby. Hi. Isn't she so cute? She's and what, so cute. Her at, at the rescue. Um, this is actually a really funny story. I never told you because I haven't seen you since. At the rescue, her name they were calling her Isabella. Stop and, it. And I was like. Mm. I work with a really brilliant, brilliant young woman named Isabella. I can't call my dog Isabella. So we started calling her Izzy. Um, look at that puppy. <laughs> oh my She's She's gosh. like five months, four, four and a half, five months old. She's so little. Oh my gosh, what's her name? Bon Bon. You know those little candies, the marshmallows covered in chocolate? Sure do. She's, she's, she's a little bum and you know caramelito, no? <laughs> so cute. She's the best thing ever. I mean, she pees all over the house. You know. But... It happens. By the way, I just saw someone said um, Isabella collab with a Peruvian artist, which yeah, I agree with that too. We should we should find the 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 the, the best Peruvian choices for you because <laughs> it's so important to the music that you make. So it is. Um, there's some really cool like artists that sing in Quechua, which is super dope. Um, there's like Jan Marco, who's an icon, a by Right, who's who you've icon. worked with, you've worked with Jan Marco a couple of times, right? I, yep, I, but we never did like, like, you know, a, like a, a color. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we did, we did write a few songs together, which was pretty, pretty dope. I think we gotta, we gotta make sure we do that for the next project, because that, that's important for you to have that collab, because it's, every time we make music, you always talk about your Peruvian roots and the Peruvian music, and I think that's just such a cool thing about what you're doing musically that um, sets you apart from everybody else. So we have to make sure we, we dig into that. Yes, we will, and we will. I, I have some great, I, I actually, I, I'm gonna text you the songs that I've been writing. I can't and wait. Then, um, talk about my album that I wanna plan on doing. Boom. So, yeah. Love Perfect. it. Yay. Yay. Hi, <laughs> okay, I'm going to take so her good to see you, Sweetie. There you go. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Love you, Justin. I'll Love see you. you. Soon. Bye, everybody. Okay. Bye. Say bye to Justin. <laughs> Justin is literally one of my favorite people ever, you guys. Couldn't you, couldn't you just feel the good energy going through the phone? Because I certainly did. Also, it could have been it could have been the baby too, but but I think the vibes were there from the beginning. The vibes, but yeah, you guys, thank you so much for your questions. Thank you so much for being here and um, listening to me talk about 
my music, which I love so much. Um, this is literally therapeutic for me. I, I'm honestly like, I want to get back to writing a song right now because I'm just so excited just talking about it. So thank you so much. Um, she's falling asleep. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, she's got to pee though. So I really, I really got to go. But thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon. I'm posting, I'm posting all the episodes to my IGTV, by the way. So if you guys want to go check that out, go ahead. Or send it to your friends. Whatever. Bye. Bye.